Hi everyone, welcome back to Earl Grey Books. I'm Ellie and today I'm here to do my May wrap up. So, uh, we're just going to get into it because I have a couple of things that I want to talk to you about and let's do it. So, uh, I read, sorry, my laptop is behind you. So, I read 15 books in the month of May, 13 were new to me, one was a reread and one was a DNF. Uh, this isn't going to be all 13. I did post a video like a week and a half ago or two weeks ago of my Eurovisionathon wrap up. So if you're interested in hearing about those books, I will link that below. Uh, but this is going to be everything that wasn't Eurovisionathon related. First up, a couple more stats. <laughs> so, uh, I, um, I unhauled 12 books this month. Um, and I bought slash got 47. <laughs> so, <laughs> that TBR, it's going great. Love that for me. Um, I, my eyes are so bad that I, I cannot see my laptop from this far away. So that I now have 226 books on my TBR. I started the year with 227. So I'm not doing, I'm going back up, which was not the plan, but a lot of those books were really cheap. So yeah, um, I don't know what to tell you. It just happened. So <laughs> definitely going to be working on that more in June. Not sure that I'm going to really be able to bring it down that much, but uh, we'll, we'll see at, um, I also have my quarterly wrap up at the end of this month. So well, I, I guess we'll see how I do with that. <laughs> but let's move on to the actual books that I read. So these are in the order that I read them, but of course there were some Eurovision Athon books slipped in here and there. Percy is very interested in these. They're not going to fall on you. They're in a basket. It's safe. I don't know what he's doing. Anyway, um, I read Fierce Fairy Tales by Nikita Gill because I thought this would be a nice quick one um, to just get through something, which I mean, it definitely was. I didn't love this. I gave this three stars. Um, I don't know. I'm, some of it was really good and then other parts I just wasn't really that fussed on. Uh, it is still a beautiful book. So there's that and there's some, there's some nice like illustrations in there and things like that. So yes, in, enjoyed it, but didn't love it. In comparison though, um, I read one of my books from my May Hall revisit. And that was a Man Lay Dead by Nagayo Marsh. This was incredible. Um, I think I've talked about before how I'm, I'm always looking for a mystery author, a mystery book that that makes me feel the way that Christy does. And I think this is the closest I've ever gotten to that, which is very exciting. Um, I love this. I just, it was so much fun. It also reminded me it reminded me a little bit of the movie Clue in that kind of premise, um, but this is definitely not as like funny and silly, um, but it's, it's so good. I really want to get more of her books now and do a little comparison between her and Christy and see what I think. Um, speaking of books I really loved, I had a few good ones this month. Um, next up was Embers by Sandor Marai. With the Eurovisionathon, I was kind of really it sparked this interest in reading books from different countries. Um, and I saw this one for Hungary, and I was like, oh, okay, um, I'm gonna read that. And <laughs> it was like a complete whim. I bought it. I 
never heard anyone talk about it. And I actually ended up really, really loving this. Uh, it was just so incredible. This is kind of like a, it's almost like a stream of consciousness sort of thing. It goes back in history and kind of like switches between timelines and you don't really know what's happening. And like, you know that there's this thing that's happened, um, but you don't know what led to that or exactly kind of what that thing is. And it kind of looks at the breakdown of this friendship between these two men um, in kind of the, the days of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. And I just loved it. I thought it was incredible. Um, I think it's going to be one of my favorite books of all time. So pretty happy about that one. Okay, next up, throw some romance in there. This is Some Like It Wicked by Teresa Medeiros. This was also part of my haul revisit. Sorry, it's very reflective there. This is a romance mostly set in Scotland and um, where the girl is the Highlander and the man um, is English. Uh, so that was a nice twist. I liked this one. I thought it was okay. Um, I have since decided to unhaul the second one because uh, I just wasn't that interested. So glad that I read this one and that I could thus get rid of that one. Um, but yeah, three stars. It was all right. Uh, next up, this was Confronting the Classics by Mary Beard. So I read SBQR at the start of the month, uh, for Eurovisionathon for Italy, and I loved that so much that I went out and bought, or I didn't go out, but I, I bought the next two more of her books, and I read this one. I didn't, I didn't really like this one. <laughs> the thing is, this is basically like the shortened version of SBQR. So this was written before. So it's kind of like she's building up to SPQR. Um, and I hadn't really seen anyone talking about that. Had I known that, I don't think I would have read this because um, she basically basically talks about everything that she talks about in that one, but in lesser detail. And these are also all book reviews, which is very strange to read. Um, but yeah, so didn't really like this one, but yes. I think if you haven't read SPQR, this would probably be more interesting, but if you have, just skip it. There's there's no real point to it. Uh, and then my reread for the month. Yay! This was Girls With Shop Sticks by Suzanne Young, which is the first book in this series. Um, I just bought the third one in May. So my plan was to read this one and then to read those two like straight after, which I haven't done yet. <laughs> but I'm going to pick those, up one, those ones up soon. Really enjoyed this one again. This is just a great book. So yeah, highly recommend it. I really don't see anyone talk about this on booktube. It's a really great book. <laughs> uh, next up was my DNF, which was... Um, Tales of Angria by Charlotte Bronte. Um, I, this is one of the oldest books on my, I thought I was enjoying this until I realized that I couldn't remember who any of the characters were. I had no idea what was happening and that I'd just kind of been reading to be reading rather than because I was actually interested. So DNF'd it. Gonna get rid of it. Happy, happy times. It's now off my TBR. Uh, okay, next up I read Get a Life Chloe Brown by Talia Hibbert. Um, again, this was incredible. Loved it. Um, Buddy read this one with my best friend, kind of. She read it and then I was slow getting to start it. <laughs> this has chronic illness rep. Um, uh, Chloe has fibromyjella. Is that how you say it? I have I have a friend who has this fibromyjella. Fibromyjella. 
Yeah. Okay. Fibro. She has fibro. Um, and I don't have experience with that, but I found the experience of living with chronic pain, chronic fatigue and other things to be, I could, I could see that in this, which was really great. Um, and I have a full discussion of this with my best friend Angel on her blog, which I will link below if you're interested in seeing us talk about it. Uh, and then finally, both as the final book for the month, but also finally, <laughs> I read The Song Rising by Samantha Shannon. So this is the third book in the Bone Season series. If you remember, I reread the first two books in Jan or Feb, and then was going to read this one and the fourth one, which didn't happen. But now I have read the third one, um, and I loved this. I thought it was incredible. Um, I loved the ending. I was so excited for the ending. Um, it was so great. So um, I'm really looking forward to reading the fourth one, um, which I'm going to be doing at the end of the month, end of June. So um, super excited for that. And I just love this. This was so great. <laughs> why, why do I not read sequels? Why? Why do I do that? Because I, I enjoy them most of the time. I don't know what it is. But that is it. That's everything that I read in May um, that wasn't for Eurovision-a-thon. And yes, sorry this was a, this is a little later in the month than I would usually do it. I honestly I just didn't really want to film this. I don't know why. I just was not in the mood to film this one. But it's done now. We're all done. It was fine. I'm fine. It's fine. It's all fine. And um, yes, that's it. Thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time. I got a pretty exciting video for literally me and one other person who would really enjoy it. But I will see you all then. Thanks for watching. Bye.